Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany with rare and exotic whiskeys. And today, once again, I have something fairly rare. Red breast? That's not rare, Jason. Single pot, whis uh, single pot still Irish whiskey? Also not that rare. All sherry single cask? Ooh. Laid down in the Middleton Distillery in March 2001 and bottled exclusively for Masters of Malt. I have bottle number 160 of 582. So um, this is very, very exclusive. So a 16-year-old red breast first fill Ortolozo sherry cask with 60.8. 2% ABV. So this is very, very exclusive. Cast number 18829. And um, what I do have here um, is a red breast 12 year old cast strength with 57.2%. This is very, very nice. And over here in Europe, and what I'm going to compare it with is what you see in the background here a red breast 21 year old. Um, with 46%. This is some very, very, very good stuff as well. So I need to build a nice little platform here so that we can actually allow this to be over here. So let's put that over here a little bit. All right, very, very good. We need a glass for this as well. Not well prepared. The German video was a little bit better. All right. Um, over here we have the red breast 16 year old 60.2 percent first fill ortolozo um, cask only for masters of malt i actually bought one of the 200 i'm sorry one of the 582 bottles i paid with shipping 168 euros and 50 cents for this bottle for this bottle i paid 149 euros so this is actually about 20 euros cheaper, even though it is a little bit older, but it has less ABV, 46 versus over here, 60.2. So this might actually be a better value for your money if you like sherry filled and if you like cast strength. Oh, I get a lot of raisins. I get a little bit of the Ortolozo. I get a lot of chocolate, a deep, dark chocolate, and some wood. Very, very nice. Now, I'm not a... <laughs> I don't really, really, really like my cast strings. Anything above 50 usually gets um, water. So let's try this just a little bit here. Mmm, mmm. Wow, that Ortolosa Sherry sure does come through. A lot of chocolate, a lot of raisins, mm. and a little bit of wood. Mm. That's European wood because it's a sherry cask from Spain. So we're going to open up my 21-year-old. So this is fairly exclusive. Um, mm. That really is good, even though it's 60.2%. I'm going to add a little bit of water in a moment. We're going to move on here to the 21-year-old. As you notice, I'm really, really being very stingy with my pores. Bottles that are over 150 euros, I tend to be stingy, especially in my videos here. You're not going to see me giving a nice pour here, um, a nice heavy pour. They're too expensive, and um, actually this is a bottle share. I didn't buy it just for myself, but actually I've um, shared the entire bottle. So I have a total of, I think, nine different people that either have 10 or C uh, 9 CL, and um, they're going to then have that um, little... Bottle share, we get little 5 CLs as well as little um, 10 CL sample bottles over here. And we can send them legally with the mail, which is great in Europe. This is the only um, um, whiskey that online I've ever given a 1 plus, which is an A plus in American. This is the absolutely the best um, Irish whiskey I've ever had. And maybe one of the best whiskeys I've ever had. 46%. Um, this is just the perfection of whiskey. And I think um, Jim Murray has um, announced for, I think, the third or fourth year in a row that the um, Red Breast 21-year-old is the second best whiskey in the world time and time and time again. And um, if we want to go with the conspiracy theories, the number one whiskey shouldn't be the number one whiskey many of the times. It's really E.H. Taylor, four grain, the best whiskey in the world. 
I haven't had it in my glass yet, but from the people who have had it, it's good, but it's not great. And this stuff is, in my opinion, great. <sighs> that pot still. Pot still means back in the old days when Britain still occupied um, Ireland before the year 1918, where they got their independence. Um, they had a malt tax, and so the Irish decided to use unmalted barley together with mar malted barley to create this unique, and only in Ireland you can find this so-called single pot still version of whiskey. So it's a mixture of malted and unmalted barley together, and it's got this typical spice note. Um, very, very good. Ah, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The good thing about this, the 21-year-old, is they use bourbon and sherry casks. The interesting thing about this is they only use one single first fill Ordoloso sherry cask. And so this is a little bit one-sided. Jameson once had a so-called deconstructed series where they actually took the three main tastes of their um, whiskeys. I think, yeah, it was the bold, the lively, and the, the bold, the lively, and the smooth, I think. And the lively was the grain, the bold was um, more the single malt, and the, 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 um, the smooth was more the pot still, if I remember correctly, and the, with the wood. And that was really, really interesting to see the different elements. And this is one element of bread breast. Um, it's a 14, 16 year old, 60 ABV, so we're talking 120 proof, 120.4 proof. Um, very, very, very nice. One of 582 bottles in the world, and exclusively um, at Masters of Malt, which means, hey, people in America, you can actually order it. They sell, they send it to America. Now, over to Germany, this was very interesting. I ordered it. Thursday evening and Saturday afternoon it was here. Amazing. And uh, I paid 10 euros for packaging and for postage. I mean, come on, 10 euros. That's nothing. I, within Germany, sometimes I pay more for a couple bottles. And so sending it over from London to Hamburg, Germany was just a great thing. <sighs> I even get some blackberries. Wow, I haven't had that. Let's try it again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Yep, chocolate, cinnamon, blackberries, raisins, cherry, not sherry with a S-H, a C-H, a dark, rich cherry, a little bit of cinnamon. Mm, very, very good. This is an A-. minus. Excellent, excellent whiskey. If you can get your hands on it, please do. Limited, 582 bottles. Over here, we have the Redbreast 21, which is a standard. Now, it's very limitedly available, or limited availability also in Europe as well in the States. Um, it's not always made, it's not always available, but if you can get your hands on a bottle of this, this stuff is the Irish bottle of wow. Now, the American bottle of wow, I, um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, is maybe $60 to $80. This is going to run you between $150 and $180. So this is a puppy that costs a lot more. But still, it's worth every single drop. This stuff is just amazing. I love it. Mm. And what it really has a lot of transitions just keeps on getting better and better. This has transitions as well, but they're all viewed through that uh, Ordolozo Sherry prism. <laughs> all right. Wow, that was interesting, I must admit. I really enjoyed that. I never knew that I'd have these two exclusive bottles here. Um, very nice to have friends to share the bottles with, so they can pay as well. So I only had 5 CL of the entire thing of this. So I'm paying about 20 euros for what I have, um, instead of 168 euros, which is a very, very nice thing. So, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And I invite you to watch my videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The question of the day is, what was the best Irish whiskey you've ever had?
Ta-da! Redbreast 21. This is going to be maybe number four or number five, to be honest. Maybe number three or number four. I've had some other um, Righteous Tears cast strings. Um, even the Redbreast 21 cast strings is very, very nice. Uh, so they're both all in this A- minus category. But this is definitely the A-plus category. Very nice stuff. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.